There's another question. We're going to go to question number three. I four. Okay. So this is about cancer. How to treat cancer. Okay. So what is cancer? Okay. I think most of us know what cancer is. But as a general term, cancer is a stepwise progressive degeneration of normal cells due to mutation. So there should be a mutation first. Okay? And this mutation happens because of many factors. It's, this can be because of radiation. This can be because of your uh, faulty lifestyle. This can be because of physical trauma. These are the things that can cause mutation to the DNA. So this is more genetic, okay? Now, if it's just simple disruptions of the DNA, simple breaks in the DNA, your body will just process it. In fact, they said that uh, a person will develop cancer six times in their life. Six times. So an adult person will have six times cancer in their life. And their body will just process it. In fact, every day we make cancer cells. Every day the DNA is exposed to carcinogens. What are carcinogens? These are substances that can cause cancer. You know how many times you are exposed to, can to a carcinogen? 1,000 to 10,000 times. That's why a very strong immune system is very important. Because a strong immune system will just fix it. That's it. And we don't have any more problems. Now, the moment the immune system goes down, then problems will arise. That's why it's very important to eat properly, to exercise, to be stress-free. If you have any problems, you shouldn't be minding all of your problems. Okay. To have a healthy relationship. Because, you know, um, also having a good marriage, it's, a, it's a, actually an insurance of not having too much cancer in your life. So that's why be nice to your husbands and to your wives, okay? Do not fight with them, okay? You should always love one another, okay? Um, there's always, you, you are, we as a patient, we as a patient or we as a sick person, we're always in control. So I don't want everyone to think that if you are sick, especially if you're stage four, that you're not gonna get better, okay? Cancer, they always revert back. They get better. So it happens many, many times, okay? And the most common causes of cancer, you're right, honey. It's poor nutrition. That's one. So another is stress, okay? You're always stressed. Uh, I don't know. What, what is your most common uh, stressors, honey? I don't have a lot of stressors here in the U.S. now. Mm -hmm. I had some pretty significant stressors when I was in Phil. Mm -hmm. uh, they were... Uh, Secretary Francisco Duque was a stressor <laughs> for me, uh, and mm. and the charade of leadership over at FDA, uh, charade Puno. Okay. Well, those are the stress, okay. Well, but but for a common person, most common cause of stress is financial, emotional, family problems. Yep. You know, now having someone who so who will support you. So those are the uh, two, and actually there's four, you know. And another is toxin overload. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are all, always being poisoned. You know? So in our house, we are being poisoned by the pains, by formaldehyde. We call that uh, house toxins. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it's very, very rampant. Okay, and when when we go outside, the air that we breathe, it's yeah. not as good as we want them to be. Oh, I mean, yeah, a, a the water. A perfectly good example is um, the things we put on our body be it the deodorants, the lotions, the creams, mm -hmm. the oils, and these things. Because what uh, many people don't believe that everything we put on our body is rapidly absorbed. absorbed. But, yes. for example, when someone wants to quit smoking cigarettes, what do they use? Oftentimes they use a, a patch, patch. Yeah, a transdermal patch. patch. Or mm. if someone is in significant and terrible pain, now they're prescribing uh, transdermal things like fentanyl, mm -hmm. you know, which mm -hmm. is incredibly dangerous mm -hmm. um, but those just demonstrate very very clearly how these things are absorbed into the body mm -hmm. so when you're putting 
you know, different types of lotions on your body, whitening lotions. Mm, um, whitening lotion, Margie. <laughs> you have to understand that that will have a cumulative effect on you. Mm. These, these chemicals that you're putting onto your body, your body has to find a way to excrete those. Yeah. And that can be a very difficult proposition. It depend, they, they accumulate in our body, right. so they so we, we, and then our our blood will be poisoned uh, mm -hmm. eventually. So with also with food, with the water that we are drinking. Mm -hmm. So most of this with the we actually with almost all, and that's why that's one of the most common reason why um we have we are getting sick because mm -hmm. we are being poisoned or we are poisoning ourselves yep. to death. Yep. Okay, either willingly or unwillingly. Another is sedentary lifestyle. What do you, what do you mean by sedentary lifestyle? Sedentary lifestyle basically means folks that aren't getting up and about and doing much of any physical activity. Hey, because we as human beings, actually, we are very active. Okay, this is the first time in uh, in generations, you know, of people who are not walking, who are not doing anything. Back then, you know, we are hunter-gatherers, yeah. so we are always up and about, we're yeah. always moving. And right now, uh, uh, in the advent of industrialization, or technological uh, era right now, we're always sitting, we're always... Sabi nga ng aking sister-in-law na si Tara, Tara Bunch. So she said that, 10 hours plus 10 hours. Internet users are Filipino. <laughs> Number one internet users in the world. Woo! I don't know if I will be happy or if I will be sad. I, you know, a little bit. For one, in one, in one breath, Philippines is number one, but in, in the second breath, that's not necessarily something that's really, really great. Yeah. So. Cancer just just by doing just by knowing all the causes of cancer, these four causes, okay, sedentary lifestyle, uh, poor nutrition, stress, and toxin overload. Just by this, you know, you, you can have the you can have a conscientious way of changing your lifestyle. Okay, that's that's very important. And do not be disheartened. No. I don't want any one of you to be disheartened. So sometimes most of you, di ba, sabi nila, gagaling pa ba ako? Am I gonna get better? Most of them, of course you're gonna get better. No? I, I, I don't want you to feel that you're not gonna get better because cancer, it's a reversible condition. You just have to realize mm -hmm. that these things take a little bit of time. I mean, mm -hmm. For example, um, the body, as you often say, mom, it's created to heal itself. You know, it's a wonderful yes. creation by God. Um, but let's say that, for example, I, I nip the end of my finger off. If I were to do that by accident, um, no doctor can command my finger to grow itself. Um, no one can make it happen any faster by simply telling it to do it. It takes time. You know, it takes what it takes. I mean, for example, if you were to get your finger lopped off in an accident of some type, it's going to take months and months for that to actually heal. So it's a matter of when you actually do get sick because of all these factors, having a realistic expectation mm -hmm. of what it's going to take to get better and don't expect it to happen overnight mm -hmm. um, because the body took a long time to get sick mm -hmm. and oftentimes they can take quite a bit of time to get better depending mm -hmm. on the type of uh, treatment modality you choose uh, the type of diet you choose as far as when you're ill mm -hmm. right? so just be patient be patient okay. and just remember you are responsible for your health choices you know, yes. I, I, we've had so many people say, well, you know, the, this doctor said to do this and I'm mad at him. It's like, mm. you, you're the one that ultimately made the choice. Mm -hmm. 